Rodney is just quietly brilliant. It's a perfect combination. Probably the best re relationship in the sport. When they got paired up, I was pretty nervous. I was like, man, this could be pretty, they could be tough. And we go to Charlotte and we, we get out there and NASCAR wanted us to simulate some races. So they line us all up and drop the flag and I ran as hard as I could. I think I finished second and third, or second or third, but I could see the leader and it's Kevin. And he's sitting out there in front of us just running. Um, we couldn't none of us get near him. And then they had another 40 lapper and he did the same exact thing. And so I went to Steve Letarte after that and I said, man, did you see this four car? I was like, they are fast. I was like, we, they just paired up. It's like all new for both of them, new team, new crew chief. And I'm like, they are gonna be tough. And man, he got in the four car and got paired up with Rodney and, and they've, they've had some years that are just ridiculous together. And I think you really got to see the real potential of Kevin Harvick. It's just like any relationship, it's all about trust. Kevin and Rodney trust each other to the bitter end and, and now at this point, they've been doing it for so long that, you know, it's like an unconditional trust. They know that each other has the other one's back and do anything that it takes to win races together. It's almost like a, a brotherly relationship to some extent, right? I mean, they talk all the time, you know, whether it's via text message or a phone call or whatever. They're kind of just on the same page, right? It's kind of like if you have a, a sibling, right? And, you know, you may not always agree all the time, but you, you kind of know where that person stands and you have that appreciation for one another. And I think the fact that they've worked together so long and the relationship didn't tarnish in any way only made them stronger and stronger, right? So. You know, a lot of times Rodney's already ahead of thinking what Kevin needs before Kevin in particularly asked for it, right? And, and that just comes from so much time spent together, so much communication over all those years um, and, and building that relationship over this long, long era that they've run. I think they just believe in each other and uh, they've always seemed to have each other's back. I think they've always believed in each other 100% and, and they've, they've never doubted each other. I've never seen them doubt one another and I think um, that's, that's key in this sport. It's a perfect combination. His Rodney stays level all the time. Even in a heated situation in the middle of the race when Kevin may get a little bit heated, Rodney does not amplify that. He stays totally calm and diffuses the situation. Um, it's just a perfect combo. Probably the best re relationship in the sport. Rodney was just mentioning earlier today on how, how much those two communicate and how well they communicate. It, it's got to be more than half the battle. I mean, it, if, if you don't have good communication with your driver, uh, there's no way that you can translate what he feels in the car to what the car needs to uh, be able to go out and win races. So the communication is key and they have that 100% and they've always had it since the beginning. It's just natural, it's easy. 100% I text Kevin more than I text my wife. It just comes natural to keep the communication going. Um, there's really never any difficult conversations. Um, it's always about how to be better. Um, there's not much other stuff that we talk about other than just our race team and the people and how do we get better? How do we make the cars better? How do we make SHR better? We care about each other's families and we ask about each other's families, but it's 100% uh, it's about racing almost all the time. You know, I, I know when I was younger, that's all I could think about was how good that Ray was with Jeff. And, you know, that, that comes down to all the people that were there with them too. And that's kind of how it is with us. It's not just me and Kevin, it's, it's been, you know, about this whole group and what we've done together. And, um, but you know, I, as, as a young man, you know, that's what you want. You want to go out and you want to win races. And, um, you know, you don't think about Hall of Fame stuff until you get, you know, into it a few years and you start winning a bunch of races with somebody like Kevin. And you're like, well, maybe this is an opportunity that I can, you know, keep winning races and do the things that we've done and, um, you know, and hopefully be in that elite group with people like, uh, like Ray and like Chad and, and um, be talked about in, in the same manner.
I love racing with Kevin just because I know what I've got every week. I, I don't have to worry about whether he's going to be on or off. I don't have to worry about what his attitude's going to be, whether he's going to give 100%, um, you know, what he's going to say, what he's not going to do. You know, all those things, it's just easy. Uh, just like I, I was talking about our communication, it's just super easy. and. Um, you know when he puts his helmet on and gets in there that you've got a shot and you know it's up to us to give him the car to make it happen and being able to race like that is something a lot of people don't get the opportunity to do and you got to cherish it when you can. You know no matter whether he's going to drive the four car anymore or not I don't see our relationship changing over uh, many many years. You know I think we'll always be friends um, at the track outside the track and and uh, you know, still do things together. Forever an iconic duo. 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 Forever an iconic duo.